Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing, this is the final video of the money management series and it is part two of how to save money tips and how to, just a roundup of how to manage your money. So yesterday in the last video I did my first 10 tips. So I've got 15 more to share with you today. So I'm just going to dive straight in there. They're not in any particular order. So just sort of go with the flow. Okay, so these are tips that I found really, really helpful in my journey to learn how to manage money better, to save money, to get myself out of debt and to start building my savings. So I really hope that they help you. I'm not a financial advisor and these are just things that helped me. So um, I hope when you've watched the video, if you've got any other tips that you have found helpful for yourself, please do share them because all of this is really, really valuable stuff. Okay, so let's start off. Number seven, um, sorry, number 11 is have a financial goal for your money. So always have a financial goal at the beginning of the year, but also have a financial goal for your savings as well. So if you have a savings account, know what that savings is for. You know, is it your um, is it your emergency fund that is just going to give you that security and you want to get it up to a certain level so that you feel really safe and secure? Is it a savings fund that you're saving for a new car or a holiday or to um, put a deposit on a house? So always give your money a goal, if that makes sense. Number 12, so I'm looking down because I've got all of my notes written down here and I don't want to miss anything for you. So number 12 is when you are sort of trying to get yourself out of debt or when you're um, trying to put as much as you can into savings, you can often feel a bit deprived. Sorry, my eyes are a bit sore this morning. Um, you can all sometimes feel a bit deprived. So I want you to try and shift your mindset. So for those of you who don't know what I do for a living, um, I spent many years coaching people. I, I very much focus on mindset. I'm a life coach, law of attraction practitioner, EFT master practitioner. And my, um, the thing that I am best at is helping people shift their mindset. So I don't do coaching anymore. I just purely focus on the blog. But a mindset shift when it comes to not feeling deprived and instead making it feel like this is like this is my goal this is my passion my you know my drive is to get debt free that's what I'm so excited about so it's okay for me to be saying no to other things because this is what I'm really excited about I'm excited about getting out of debt I'm excited about building my savings just try and make that that positive shift so that you, you're not feeling like you know it's a struggle all the time number 13 is shop around so I'm specifically thinking about um, things like insurance um, you know like car insurance home insurance pet insurance and like energy your telephone bill phone up the companies that you're with and just say to them you know I'm on a really tight budget now and can you give me a better deal? And if they say no, then, you know, look around and see what else is available. Because if you can swap, I can pretty much guarantee if you do put in the time, you will find a better deal. Um, and also, you know, if it's a company where you can't shop around, um, you know, and you're tight, you're stuck with one company because that's the only company that provides a particular service in your area. Still give them a call and just say, you know, my money's really, really tight at the moment. Is there anything you can do to lower my bills? Because you know what? Often, you know, they have things in place to help people who are struggling. So it's definitely worth giving them a call always. Number 14, groceries. So here's what I found. There are some budget supermarkets in my area that a lot of people really sort of like rave about and say, oh, they're absolutely brilliant. They, they really bring your monthly grocery, grocery, grocery bill down. Sorry, I can't speak today. 
Um, but what I found is I have my favourite supermarket that I just seem to be able to find everything that I want at. I often buy the, and I usually buy like brand names where I can. Um, so I think it's really good value there anyway. But when I tend to go to a different supermarket, I, I tend to spend more and I still need to go back to my normal supermarket. So for me, I just think the best way is to stick with the supermarket that you know and really like and find their best deals. You know, find the, the things that are the best, the best prices, but for the, you know, the quality, um, still a good quality. You don't have to buy like horrible things that you don't like. Number 15, buy in bulk when it's on sale if it's something you already use. So don't buy things just because they're on the, in sale and don't buy lots of things that are going with a short sell by date, you know, things that are going to need to go in the bin quite quickly if you don't use them. So things like um, tin products, like the other week, Passata was, cartons of Passata were on offer at my supermarket and we get through loads of those every, you know, every month and I always ha like to have a good supply so I just bought as many as I thought I could fit in my cupboard. So that's a really good tip, buy on sale when you can. Number 16, in the area that I live in, in England, um, the there is a supermarket in my city centre that the petrol is a lot cheaper than the petrol station which is just a mile away from my home so whenever i am out that direction i make sure that even if i've only used like a quarter of a tank of petrol i make sure that i top up because that saving you know when you're when you're filling your car up so like um it makes a big, big difference. And if I can, when my tank is sort of like getting quite low and I need to go in that direction, then I will. I won't go specifically because that defeats the object because I'm using petrol to actually get there. But I always try and fill up when I'm in that area. Number 17, shop for birthdays, at birthday cards and Christmas things. Um, sorry, birthday presents and Christmas presents in the sale so you know you know when people's birthdays are you know when christmas is and you know you've got a whole year in between to find a nice present so buy it in plenty of time even if it's not in the sale because if you leave it while the last minute i can guarantee you will end up buying something that costs more money and it's not even necessarily what they're going to want number 18 try to do some sort of meal planning you know, plan out your meals, make your shopping list so that you, you're not over buying things. And also um, bulk cook so that you can put stuff in the freezer. So like, for instance, if I make a spaghetti bolognese, I make sure that I make up loads of the bolognese um, mix and I have enough for that night and then probably two more nights uh, worth go in the freezer in separate con containers. So that, that saves you time and in the long run, it saves you money. And another really good tip that I, I found is I use the slow cooker quite a lot as well. And that that's quite a good way to sort of like save money. Number 19 is budget. Plan, um, have a budget for your weekly groceries and your monthly groceries. So I have created a video on this which you can go and have a look at in the money management series to, to show you what I do. But do you know what? I've, I've tried all sorts of different budgets, uh, budgets over the year. And um, just find something that works for you. Check out what I do because that might work for you as well. Number 20, save your change. This is a no-brainer. Just put your change into like a pot. I've got a little money box and cash it in at the bank um, whenever you can. You know, every... So like, you know, six months to empty it out, cash it in at the bank, or, you know, if it's bigger coins, use it for car parks and things like that, rather than just dipping into your normal weekly budget. Number 21, buy a year's worth of birthday cards in one go. And again, this comes down to not buying at the last minute, because I know there are, there are there's a card shop in my local town and my local city centre. 
um, where I can buy really nice cards for really low price. If, if I leave it till the last minute and I have to go and buy a card from somewhere more local, because I live in a quite rural area, if I have to go and buy somewhere, buy cards from somewhere local, I will pay like three times as much for a card that's just the same. Okay, so that's why I'd say at the beginning of the year, I go out and buy everybody's cards for the year. And I buy Christmas cards really early as well for the same reason. Number 22, sell your stuff that you don't want. So try card boot sales, try eBay, you know, find local, um, like Facebook do online. Um, you know, sell your stuff sites, you know, find groups and things like that on Facebook as well. So that's a really good way of putting sort of fairly good chunks of money against your debt or into your savings. Number 23 is food related. So watch your portion sizes. If you're scraping food, consist, you know, nearly every night into the bin, if family members are scraping food into the bin, then your portion sizes are way too big. You need to cut them down so that they eat, eat what's on the plate and not scrape it into the bin. Um, you know, people can always go back for seconds if they want it. And also, you do not need to do, like, a, some fancy gourmet meal every night. Try and keep your food fairly simple most of the time and just keep those costs right down. Number 24, don't buy expensive dog treats, okay? So, no, I know that not all of you have got dogs, but honestly, you know, some of these dog treats are so, so expensive and... I don't buy them. I think Indy, Indy probably gets maybe two a year from me. Um, you know, maybe his birthday and Christmas sort of thing is something special. But the rest of the time, I just give him, as, as his extra treats, I just give him a couple of pieces of his normal food, and he's more than happy with that. And they, they don't need these expensive dog treats. You know, it's a, you know, manufacturer's, like, salespeople's con for people who love dogs and your dog doesn't know you love it more if you'd give him these expensive treats over just his normal food so number 25 this is my last one it's probably the one that i should have started with is make sure you have that emergency fund in place because this gives you that sense of security you have money there set aside for if you have an emergency and it is priceless so those are my 25 money saving, money management tips and they are things that really help me and I really hope that they help you. So I'm going to wrap this all up now. Please, 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 if you have more tips, please share them below because this is still a journey for me and, you know, I know that there are so many people on this journey to get out of get out of debt and start their savings so any sort of tips and advice is greatly appreciated okay so i wish you every success on your money management journey and building your savings getting out of debt if you're in debt building your savings and just i'd really love to hear from you so definitely leave me a comment subscribe if you're not already subscribed and if you've enjoyed this series then please give it a thumbs up give the videos a thumbs up as you watch each of the individual videos and I will be back next week on Monday with my business tips and Wednesday we will be starting a new topic to help you create the life that you love okay that's all from me for today bye